Look, I, I think um, banking is a little bit unique at the moment because we're in this uncertain period, um, you know, as a function of pending regulation, um, you know, the impact of interest rates and when the Fed's going to ease or not ease. So it's a little bit different. I think the economy um, is kind of what you read about. It feels pretty healthy. It's slowing at the margin from a rapid pace. Labor's good, um, you know, and it, it least inside of PNC, we're largely on the same page with Chair Powell on his recent comments. What can you tell us about your customers right now? And I asked because we had a really interesting conversation with uh, the president and CEO of Citizens Bank of Edmond. I mean, this is a tiny bank in Oklahoma, yeah. mm -hmm. one physical branch, and they have an online business with a thousand customers. So, I mean, we're talking tiny, but Jill Castilla yep. told us yesterday that she's never seen a better environment for her customers. Things are really, really good right now. It's um, Jill's actually a good friend. It's she's not wrong. Um, you know, it, it on the corporate side, there's areas of weakness, but there's a lot of um, areas of strength, um, particularly as we kind of lean into manufacturing and, and onshoring again. Um, the consumer, yeah, you know, varies by income level. We've obviously seen basic wages increase a lot, particularly at the lower level. Um, but at the same time, we've seen the prices of their staple goods increase more um, compounded through time than, than their wages have, even though in many instances, wages have doubled. Hmm. So, it, it, you know, it varies. Well, and, you know, we kicked off here, you know, Bill, getting into you that one year, essentially, a little bit more than one year since Silicon Valley Bank yeah. and the collapse of it. Um, do you feel like we're out of that environment? And and I think one thing we have learned is, right, that not every bank, not every regional is the same and in terms of their exposure. But we're still kind of a little concerned about commercial real estate, not sure that we've gotten through that. So when it comes to concerns within some of the banking sector, do you think that we could see more trouble still, depending on their exposures? Um, at the margin, probably in smaller banks, most of which you will never uh, have heard of. Mm. Um, I think, first of all, as you know, I don't particularly like the term regional. It's not very descriptive of anything anymore, particularly in a digital age. Um, but so I'm not going to call um, you a super regional, which people call you sometimes. <laughs> no, I, I don't know what to. We're a national bank. <laughs> I know. I know you Back, are. That campaign in a second. But. Um, you know, practically, and you see the same numbers I do, is banks get smaller, they tend to have a higher concentration of real estate. Their concentration of real estate tends to be more um, fixed rate, medium term in length, and B and C properties, you know, so permanent financing on older B and C properties, which is kind of the area that's going to get hit the most in a higher rate environment with, you know, increased office vacancies. But it's not a systemic issue certainly for the for the banking industry um, not for any of the names you will otherwise know mm. uh, and we'll make our way through it well let's talk more broadly just about about real estate and talk to us a little bit about your own exposure to real estate and commercial real estate what how can you characterize that for us I mean, you know look it's a small percentage of our total loans a not a big percentage of our capital we have um, you know, plus or minus eight and a half billion, I guess, in total, what you would define as, as office. And that is where all the spotlight is um, starting to shine on multifamily, but we're not seeing stress in multifamily at the moment, notwithstanding, you know, news that you might see out of New York and affordable and other places. Generic multifamily is doing just fine. But inside of office, you know, say we have that eight and a half billion, um, there's, a, there's about four and a half billion to five billion that is multi-tenant. And that's where the problem is. Um, and we expect problems there and we're reserved to quite a high level against it. Mm -hmm. And thus far as we've cycled through, you know, these projects that go non-performing, um, we've actually been conservative in what we've been reserving. So we feel okay about it. Um, we're heavily reserved today. Um, it's gonna, you know, most of our stuff uh, comes due over the next year or so, you know, it's kind of project based. They come online. 
Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna know the answer to this uh, pretty quickly, I suspect. Ah, interesting. Hey, listen. We also said that um, boring <laughs> is something <laughs> yeah. that you guys are tapping into. We've got a great chart that we can share with those who are watching right now. Uh, that uh, our producer Elizabeth uh, is going to share out with everybody. But it talks about bank management, not just your own, but others um, using boring on calls this year, uh, quarterly update calls and earnings calls. It is up a lot. Um, boring, yeah. not a bad thing. And you guys have an advertising campaign that you are stressing that. No, we, we do. I, I mean, I'll make a couple of points. I, I, I think if you look back in history, I've talked about our bank and banking in general is kind of three yards in a cloud of dust and um, you grow, you know, with GDP. And if, and if you're good at it, you can outpace that. Um, but we are by our very nature as an industry, when you see outliers to that, there tends to be something going on underneath that. Um, and, and, and when we think about, you know, we use the word boring, I don't necessarily like to think of myself as a boring person, but <laughs> I didn't mean banking that. <laughs> ought to be. No, I I get it, but boring. You know, banking shouldn't be drama for our clients. It mm -hmm. ought to be predictable, consistent. Stuff works. They know their money's safe. They don't have to read about us in the headlines. Right. Um, and that that's who we are. That's how we define ourselves. You know, we we right. to the core of this company. Bill. To the very best of our ability, we try to do right by all of our constituents every day. And when we screw it up, we fix it.